Um, before we begin, I want you to like, subscribe, comment down below um, what your favorite superpower is. Um, go ahead, share this up right quick. Let everybody know because there's a lot of people out there just like us. They need to see this information as well. What's up, Shadow Mark? Kai Frost back at you with another video. Uh, the topic of this video right here is going to be um, 10 signs you are showing your magical powers. Okay, for those that you that uh, for those of you that don't know that you're showing your magical powers, um, it, the world and society and how people react to you could be a little uh, off, um, off, could throw you off a little bit from um, not being able to relate or like comprehend the information that's been given to you or for someone else to relate to you or comprehend whatever information you have to um, give to them meaning um, a lot of people won't see eye to eye for not knowing when or how or you know what I'm saying a combination of questions of why um, they're not understanding because they I got lost just now so bear with me um, they're not able to comprehend themselves and when they're showing or ourselves yourself themselves ourselves when we are showing our sh our superpowers and um some powers we have are passive meaning they happen even when we're not trying to use them so we got to be more conscious and self-aware of self to actually know when we're using our powers passively and when we're using it um consciously even though we don't know the effects the we're not self-aware or we're not aware of the effects we're having using our powers so therefore we don't know when um the someone else is using their powers and it kind of clashes or is not mixing as well because it's not managed for it to be channeled directly into someone's mind or um a channel to someone's aura to be picked up and received. Um, sometimes we project our powers out into the world and the universe, um, and it's a big ball of static or something like that, a big ball of um, mess. Um, some people are chaos magicians, chaos sorcerers, chaos witches, etc., like that. Um, meaning, a, a person of chaos um, can't cannot necessarily. Um, speak to a person of order without the person of order um, knowing how to uh, siphon through chaos and decipher the madness so um, here's a 10 signs that you are um, showing your magic powers number one um, is saying alter realities meaning it's like you know what I'm saying like a whole bunch of different aspects in one aspect um, for those of you that um, sun gaze or um, moon gaze and stuff like that when you start the moon long enough it might disappear or it might seem like something overlapping it and things like that um, in reality you can stare at something for 30 seconds straight without blinking and it'll transform to a whole nother shape and it's some stuff like that so you got to know when you're using your powers and when you're not using your powers um, there's people out there that take longer to blink than other people so whatever they see may not be necessarily what you see even though you're staring at the same thing or you're looking at the same thing you know a quick a quick glance is not the same image or same scene or same sight or same um, glyph or same sigil or same symbol as somebody that's staring at it and like either focusing in or you know what I'm saying removing their focus from it um, so you got to know when you're seeing altered realities and sometimes um, your mind will project um, holograms or um, realities or uh, hallucinations and stuff like that um, so you got to know you got to know you know what I'm saying like it's, it gets wicked because some people out there are like um, hypnotists and some people are illusionists and stuff like that so they can make you see something that's not there but you think you're thinking that you think you thought that you're seeing it 
You know what I'm saying? So you got to know when something's happening to you. Maybe you're not crazy. Maybe somebody is forcing you to see something that they want you to see, but it's not really there, but it's not coming out of your own brain. You know what I'm saying? That's not your power. That's somebody making something in your brain to put it out there like that, for you to see it like that. You know what I'm saying? You can, a lot of people, that's what paranoia comes in. This is where people start, um, looking at their family members and friends and things like that like their enemies and uh, sometimes you can make um, turn people or inanimate objects into adamant objects and people think they're fucking crazy and weird um, things like that <clears throat> number two is filling energies of nouns um, people person places things um, situations circumstances everything like that um, you can pick up Every fucking thing. You can pick up everything, right? I won't say everything because some it's like empaths and things like that can pick up everything, right? But um you can pick up like you can hold something, you can feel it, you can feel the life force, you can feel how you know what I'm saying you share the feelings of certain things. Um then when you pick up energies, it can might it might be hot, it might be cold, you know what I'm saying, etc. like that to where um these energies play a part in your thought pattern and how you process thoughts. So you gotta be careful what you're touching with your hands and what you put on your body because um, your thoughts may not be your thoughts. Sometimes you can be picking up um, a magical item, object, or something like that, and it can make your perception obscure. So you gotta be careful a lot of things like that. Um, you gotta stay true to self to where you need to cleanse and um, do your seven day fast to where you can get your memories back stay away from everything um, in a dark room somewhere for seven days or all all light room you know i'm saying for seven days you need to be purified in some type of color and some type of emptiness um number three not being able to sleep um this where um what's the word for insomniacs a lot of insomniacs not able to sleep um some people they're awake but they want to sleep there's some people that won't feel the feeling of being tired because sleep and um things like that is a feeling like being touched you know what i'm saying somebody touches you you can feel it sleep is the same thing to where um you can turn off the receptor of being able to be tired so you won't ever have to feel the feeling of being tired like being in pain you won't ever have to feel like you're in pain no matter what type of stress and pain and acid you go through so yeah um number four is forgetting stuff only to write them down and reread it later think it was someone else who wrote it down uh, for people who have like bad memory and stuff like that um, for me for like you know what i'm saying exactly um I, I make songs i make music i make poetry um i take notes and sometimes it's like when you reread it it's something speaking to you through yourself like you are a medium um, you're a vessel for something and it's trying to get relaying a message. I call it being like a, a walkie talkie or something like that, a microphone to where your physical body um, holds some type of battery and it, it puts it out there. Like these videos I'm making on my YouTube channel, when I reread it, I know it's something else. It might be a version of me, it may be um, something that jumped inside of me, it may be, um, it could be a possibility of a, a lot of different things, a lot of various things, you know what I'm saying? So you really got to, when you feel, when you go through these type of things, you got to um, do some studying of self, like who you are, and that's going to take you to a depth of um, not understanding anything about yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people out there born as vessels, born as, as vessels. Um, people are only birthed because they are... Um, their parents have a, like a generational curse and or their parents was um, possessed and the only reason that you were born is because like your parents either went to church or played with witchcraft or did magic and whatever consequence or blessing that came with that is the reason you have um enough enough energy to create a soul they had enough energy to create a soul inside of them to produce to the world so you got to know where you're, you're you know what i'm saying your how your soul started and came to be beyond the physical so you gotta really study yourself and that's going 
bring you back into a, a state of confusion, a state of chaos, and it's going to be kind of, um, I wouldn't say depressing because you built a whole life around something that you think you should have been, but it's not necessarily what you are. So you got to get back to your, you know what I'm saying, your pure state. Um, number five, having the ability to zoom out, aka disassociate with environments, mindsets, mindset, mind states, and people mentally, emotionally, and or physically. This comes from passively or manually. This comes passively or manually in order to see things from multiple levels that you may or may not get stuck doing. So, um, some people may be like, I know. I don't want to use astrology because astrology is something I'm not great at, but it is something I dabble with. Um, I want I won't even necessarily as accurate. Like astrology is not very accurate, but we're gonna use it for right now. For example, Gemini's. Um, they tend to um, get confused a lot they tend to be um have a lot of stress and chaos in their mind in their mind to where they forget things um and they have to zoom out of their own life aquarius is aquarius air signs as a whole do it but there's levels and there's different varieties of what type of energies there is and it's not your sun sign it's not your moon sign it's having it on your chart period this is where you will be focused on doing it so if you have it in like venus then um, you have gemini aquarius libra and venus and stuff like that then that's where your love will you know what I'm saying you disassociate with love period um if you have it in your moon sign then you disassociate with like your feelings and you know saying your emotions and if you have it like in your sun sign this is where you dissociate physically and um visually you know what i'm saying so people you stop coming around certain people and you have a tendency to cut people off for no reason and stuff like that because there's something about it that you need to focus on from a distance um you know what i'm saying you, you can't necessarily be in the action 24 7 to where um you need to play a part but then you need to analyze it from a third person I'm saying this is basically what it is being a, from first person mode to third person mode, like in a um, I'm saying, um, number six, thinking about where your thoughts come from. Um, a lot of people are busy thinking and they keep thinking. I, I want to keep using Gemini, but this is a, a aspect of Gemini, they keep thinking about thinking you know what I'm saying they they think they don't necessarily think about their thoughts they think about what they're thinking about you know what I'm saying so if I'm thinking about um, if I was a Gemini I'm not a Gemini you know so if I'm if I'm a Gemini um, I'm thinking about uh, I'm being you know what I'm saying thirsty so I'm gonna be thinking about being thirsty. I'm going to think about what I want to drink. I'm going to think about how much I want to drink. I'm going to think about the cups I want to use to drink it. I want to think about um, the type of drink I want to drink. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not necessarily thinking about where them thoughts are coming from. Like, what is making me thirsty? And what is, you know what I'm saying? Like, why am I thinking thirsty thoughts? And why am I, you know what I'm saying? Where are these thoughts coming from? And why are they making me feel this way? You know what I'm saying? These, these are the thoughts that I'm talking about for number six, like being deep thoughts outside of the, the current state of thinking. Um, your mindset when you think of thoughts need to be analyzed and what it should be analyzed when you are um, showing number six. Um, the whole thought pattern has been um, worked out and deciphered rather than each individual thoughts about a subject. Um, certain people like Virgos and Gemini's they think about certain events in the subject rather than their whole mind you know what I'm saying and that's why they, it's easy for them to get lost in their mind and um, it's hard for them to break free once they actually get in their mind because it's like a trap their mind is trapping their, their, their thoughts well their mind is trapping their consciousness um, to where they got to be self-aware to break free of their self
Um, number seven is wondering how decisions of things are made. So like the decision making process, um, this is where things get really deep. Like where do decisions come from? Like, you know what I'm saying? Before there's an action, there's a there's a, a will. Before there's a will, there's something that initiates the will that causes the feeling, that causes thought, that causes blah, 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 that causes blah, 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 that creates action, action creates feelings. Um, and the cycle continues and so on and so forth because one thing leads to another and something else leads to another. It's a chain of events. You got to figure out what feeds what. Then that object that just been fed needs to feed something else and feed something else and feed something else and feed something else. And it all comes back, you know what I'm saying, 360 degrees full circle and the blessings continue regardless. And that's the best thing about um, having a, a mind like this for number six and number seven to lead us all to directions that we never even seen before to where we actually can dive in the depths of self. Um, this is where a lot of air signs don't like to go. A lot of air signs, a lot of fire signs don't like to go in deep because it it scares them. Uh, fire signs, it scares them because now they're entering a realm of water. Um, this is what I call water, and a lot of air signs don't like to go in deep because of the realm of earth. Um, there's no air in the in the deepest parts of the earth, as well as there's no fire because there's no air and water um, like that. So a lot of earth signs, a lot of water signs can understand. Um, earth signs more, underst earth signs understand more about the analytical part, the log the logical part, the practical part. Water signs. Um, and more emotional, more um, feeling, you know what I'm saying? They feel where I'm coming from, even though they don't understand the words that I'm using. Or um, fire signs understand like the pictures, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the visuals of it all, to where they can they can imagine in their head, but they can't actually go there, you know what I'm saying? It's like a story to be told to them, rather than the lifestyle they live in. They're not really in it, they, they're, they're, you know what I'm saying? Picturing it, so. Um, number eight is seeing systems inside of the culture you engage in through the perception of what you are learning from. Um, that's pretty much um, what it is. Um, six, seven, and eight go hand in hand. Um, disassociating, um, then figure out the thoughts and figuring it out. Um, how the decisions are made. You understand the, the process is you. Now this is the time for you to break free. You know what I'm saying earn your liberation through um, just being able to engage with systems from an outside perspective rather than being like the test subject you are now you know what I'm saying full throttle the scientist you are now manipulating the situation you are now in control you are now a catalyst for your, for your issues for whatever events you come from you are now in charge of your destiny you are now fucking powerful beyond whatever the hell you think you can believe you are now um, in control of yourself you know what I'm saying because you understand whatever the hell you get put in there's oh yeah uh, I ran out of um, space I got a lot of videos on here um, a lot of adult content a lot of videos for YouTube um, a lot of drives a lot of edits but um, Like I was saying, when you are in charge of everything like that, um, and you understand whatever situation you was put in, the decision is being made, the thought is being formed, the action is being taken place, and emotion is must be felt, um, and you can kind of grasp whatever the fuck, whatever you need to grasp, and you can look at it from an outside per perspective. Once you grasp from it from an outside perspective, and you can um, build like a, a little a situation. Um, you can apply yourself to that situation and give it a test run for yourself, meaning you practice whatever you fuck you preach. Um, then after you master that and you can understand the logistics, the in and out, basically that's what it is, understanding the inside and the outside of it, you can actually bring this world, because at that point, it should have been bigger than the book by this point to where it's in, it's in your physical world. I'm saying may have started out as a plan on, on a piece of paper and maybe started off in your head but now it's on paper now it's on digitalized maybe now it's, it has a, a audible to it now it has a visual to it now you have a, a person place or thing attached to it you know what i'm saying now it's becoming a, a, a world a reality environment you know what i'm saying 
So now this is how you really, I'm saying, take control, take charge of something and become powerful. Um, these are the words from, you know what I'm saying, me, me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Kai Frost. This is how you build stuff. <laughs> this is how a Capricorn will jump in it, or so-called Capricorns, Earth sign period, you know what I'm saying? Take this advice and um, try not to hurt yourself because this, this information right here is only for powerful people, not for people that think they're powerful. It's a big difference. You think you're powerful doesn't make you powerful, okay? That's how you end up hurting yourself because now you're doing powerful stuff and you know you're not powerful. Now it's about to show you that you're not that powerful. So I'm not that powerful. I'm me. So <laughs> I can only start out small and then see what I can do. You know what I'm saying? That's what I advise you to do. Start out small and see what you can do. Know yourself. Because if you're watching this video, you probably don't know yourself. So let me help you. All right. Um. Number nine is being more quiet. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you, everything from number one to number eight will lead you to number nine. You know what I'm saying? Once you actually understand what you're doing and what you're going through and what you're looking at and what type of people that is attracted to you because you're living life based on the knowledge that you have, you know what I'm saying? We tend to be more quiet because we disassociate. You know what I'm saying? We see it through a different lens. At that point, we see it through a different scope. And by the time we 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 look, analyze it from the outside, we tend to jump in. You know what I'm saying? We tend to be more empathic. We tend to uh, see it from others' point of view before we make our final decision. These people, when you get to number nine, people gonna think you kind of slow. They're gonna think you're retarded because you're gonna take too long to respond. They're gonna think uh, by the time they keep barging you with fucking questions over and over again, you won't necessarily have time to answer it when they want you to answer it. So now it's like, give me a second. It could be the simplest thing, but it might take a week or a month to answer it because there's in your head at this point if you're watching this video up until this point bruh do not listen to me anymore <laughs> i'm advising you your life will change you won't have no more um you can only relate to higher people at this point if you're understanding everything i'm saying to you bruh you won't have any friends okay you won't you won't normal humanity won't accept you Okay, you need to find people of your element. You need to find people of your fucking status and on your level, bruh. You saying this is what I'm warning you of every time. Like regular fucking society, everyday life is no more, no mosh, bruh. This shit is obsolete. So please, if you're watching this, bruh, you saying stay the fuck away from regular people. You are powerful. You're super powerful. Even though if you don't know it, you watching this video make you stupid powerful. Like, upper level ancient shit. You know what I'm saying? Be careful with what you're doing. This is advice to myself in case I gotta watch this over. I gotta take my own advice. Um, number 10. If uh, Before I get to number 10, if my children are watching this, Please, please stay away from regular people. Know your worth. You are rare, okay? By the time you're watching this video, you already know that you feel something. You're not regular. People are not treating you like they treat regular people, like they treat other people, because you're not a regular person. Anybody else that's following me, be careful, bro. You can't teach this shit to regular people. Regular people is not going to associate with you. They're not going to accept you, no matter how much you try to fit in. You can't fit in when you're too big for whatever the fuck you're trying to fit in. They're going to hate you because they're, you're separating people because you're too big. So you busting shit open, you should be busting open. When you have a little hole like this, and this is people tunnel vision, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's people tunnel vision, and you fucking like 
you got a whole hand in it like mm -hmm. now by the time you go through it and you leave or you come back out through it the other way because you're done you just wanted to see what the fuck was inside and now you're coming out and it's like this now people are fucking going crazy because they don't have a complete circle no more you know what i'm saying they they their reality was like this and it was a closed circuit now it's broken now there's no more energy being transferred the economics is fucking broken the environment's trash so I stop being a parasite parasites do that they don't care they don't care to heal it after they damaged it they just want to get what the fuck is inside then leave fix it if you want to jump in a small shit like this fix it otherwise stay the fuck away from it get in where you fit in not where you think you belong make a space Number 10. Um, seemingly appearing like something abnormal in the previous environment you were stationed. Meaning people looking at you like you're fucking strange. Like something's wrong with you or something. You know what I'm saying? They know you're magical. People, they, they can't relate to you. So they think you're um, like a monster or a spirit or... You know what I'm saying? Like something they're about to condemn. You know what I'm saying? Like basically, basically <laughs> they looking at you like you're something they're basically about to condemn, bro. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, you're condemning yourself by being around people that you know is about to condemn you. Stay the fuck away from people. They they about to judge the fuck out of you. They about to dissect you. They about to ask you questions. They don't give a fuck to know the answer to they just want to hear whatever how you fuck you respond it don't matter what you say they don't care about learning you they don't care they just want to see how you fucking react at that point say the fuck away from them type of people they just using you as a test subject like fucking scientists and ufos they will cut you they will even they will even fucking tell you to your face if you say the wrong shit they will cut you bruh they will kill you stay the fuck away from them type You understand what I'm saying? They want to see what makes you tick. They want to see where you get your power from. They want to see how they can make, you know what I'm saying? At this point, what they consider, you know what I'm saying, as a, a superhuman, a superpower. If you understand all the way from 1 to fuck the 10 on this video, bruh, <laughs> you understanding your powers, you understanding why the fuck people treating you, how they fuck they treating you, you know what I'm saying? You got to stay away, man. You hear my words, bruh, and everything's going to be all right. It's okay to be alone. It's all right. It's preferred to be alone at this point. You probably went through so much fucking dirt, so much bullshit, so much hate, so much no fucking negativity, so much motherfuckers trying to come your way, so much fucking people want to clone you, so many people that's stealing your swag, stealing your, your teacher, and stealing everything about you. you know? They want to be like you. You know what I'm saying? Stay the fuck away from the people. Man. You are now what they call like fucking royalty. You know what I'm saying? You are now what you call a chosen one. You are now what you call a fucking star seed. You know what I'm saying? You are now every fucking thing that you ever thought you ever could be that they thought they couldn't be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you want to be a superhuman, now you know your worth. You know what I'm saying? You want to be a superpower person, a superhero, supervillain, whatever the fuck you is. Know yourself. Right? They said this, these are helping you know yourself. That's why it says 10 signs you are showing your powers. Now you see what type of shit that you do and how they react to it. It's okay to be alone, baby. It's okay. It's okay. That's 10 signs. Man, there's so much more to life than the 10 signs. These are just 10 signs that you're showing your superpower. So be careful with environments you jump in. You may not be one up there. Like, you gotta break free. We don't belong everywhere. We belong where we're supposed to be at. I'm saying, like, when you go places, you gotta be in disguise. You know, when you go places where you know you shouldn't be, you gotta water yourself down. You gotta fucking, like, 
disguise yourself, you know what I'm saying? They, this is what they call um, being deceitful. What they call being, you know what I'm saying? Everything you're not supposed to be. You're too powerful for the environment. Let that, you know what I'm saying? The country Wayne voice. Let that sizzle in your spirit. You gotta disguise yourself to fit inside their fucking environment because you're way more powerful than that. Your presence alone, you probably can't even really disguise yourself. They can see you. They they know you don't belong there, but you kind of look like them, so they might accept you. <laughs> my time you talk, my time you walk, my time you give an opinion, my time you smile, and the shit that you smile at, the shit that you react to, they're going to figure you out. So don't stay in this in an environment around people around in, in I'm saying, the, the the inhabitants that inhabit that environment <laughs> for long they're gonna figure it out and it's not gonna take long because you can't control yourself you can't change yourself you just gotta know yourself you, know, you can blend in like that to where they can't you are a shapeshifter you know what I'm saying you can fit in graciously and like effortlessly like that and they don't drain you and they don't and you don't forget yourself at this point uh, many of you are watching this video because you forgot yourself because either you didn't know yourself or you forgot yourself either or <laughs> so you gotta be careful man so my kids that's watching this however many kids I may have from now Right now, I got two kids, but by the time I understand the rest of my kids see this, I might have more kids. And for those that consider me as their father, um, by teaching them, um, hi, <laughs> nice to meet you. I, I, I wish I could see you. Yes, I do. I, I, I love to take kids on, even if they're not mine, no matter the age. And I, you can be an adult, and I still consider you as my child learning from me if I can help you um, I'm not a perfect father um, there's many things I fucked up in my life um, just like you I had to know myself I forgot myself or I didn't know certain aspects of myself so that's one thing we have in common um, please don't feel like you're alone because for a long time I did um, for a long time I didn't want to be alone for a long time I'm sorry. I wanted to be accepted by my environment, not knowing that my environment was fucking me up and causing me to oppress myself, causing me to water myself down and everything. Um, I wasn't being my, my full potential because I was trying to be a full potential in the, their guidance, their laws, and their understanding and their, their way of percep perceiving me rather than having a set of laws perceiving myself. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not bad to have guidance. It's not, it's not bad to fit in a situation. It's not bad to be in an environment. It's not bad to be around people. You know what I'm saying? It's bad when you're not following their laws. It's bad when you're not fitting in their environment. It's bad when the people that you're around is turning against you because subconsciously, consciously, unconsciously, you are shifting into another direction. You know what I'm saying? You, you're leaving their environment. By the time your mind is made up and you've kind of figured out where you want to go a little bit, that last environment is no longer, you know what I'm saying, relevant. I want to say relevant to you because they always have a big significance in your growth and your progress and your identity because that's what helped made you transform or shift into another environment. Never forget where you come from because this is ultimately the biggest blessing you will ever have. And when you tell your story, people want to know where the fuck you came from. Okay? You got to know where you started from. Um, a shout out to my two baby boys. You know what I'm saying? My two sons, my four-year-old um, and my one-year-old. So I'm gonna say their names, um, give them out into the public until uh, they're physically here with me. They're not here with me right now. Um, it's 2022. 
Um, if y'all watching this, you know who you are. You know if you're four years old in 2022, uh, Sam March 2022. If you're one years old, you know who you are by the time this come out. By the time you see this one after it come out, you know who you are. So, and the rest of my kids that are in biological, you know who you are. I claim you. You know what I'm saying? Just connect with me. Call me sometime. You know what I'm saying? Drop me a message. Let me know that you're out there, my children. Please. I want to help you, man. I know you're pretty much fucked up right now. Pretty much damaged right now. Let me try to heal you in case if I can't. Let me try to do my best for you. Please. I'm not perfect. But just know, I'm saying, I'm open minded a little bit. I'm still alive. So I'm not perfect. So I'm not at where I want to be. When I'm at where I want to be, you'll no longer see me in a physical form. You're going to be seeing me inside your head somewhere as an apparition or an FUG or something like that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Some type of spirit. Um, this body won't be able to hold me. Um, I become limitless. I put a limit on myself with just being alive, so. Well, as far as that video, that's that video. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, it's Kai Frost signing off. Like I always say, <clears throat> we do not own anything on this planet, on this earth. We all, no, that's not it. Every circumstance and situation that we go through and ever comes to us is situational. It won't last forever, it's temporary. So we are more than what we imagine. We are more than what we say we are. We are more than what the ego says we are. We are more than what the people of the world say we are. We are more than what our environment built us to be. We are more than what this, you know what I'm saying? We are more, okay? We are just <laughs> just stay tuned for the next video, man. Like, subscribe, you know what I'm saying, comment, and share this video.